In this Excel example, we're looking at a company running ads on three different digital platforms, Facebook, TikTok, and on podcasts. When the company runs Facebook ads, it pays $1 for each 1,000 exposures. And on TikTok, it's $2 per 1,000 exposures. And on podcast, is one half dollars per 1,000 exposures. So what the company does is it alternates across different platforms. So on each day, it only runs on a specific platform. For example, on September the 1st, it only runs on Facebook, and then Facebook again, and then it alternates to podcast, and then back to Facebook, Facebook, and then it changes to TikTok. So it runs these ads alternating across platforms. And on column C, we see here the total number of exposures on that day on that platform in thousands. And uh, our goal is to calculate the expected cost that the company is going to incur by running the ads on these platforms like this with the expected number of exposures given. To conduct this calculation, First, we want to figure out the expected cost. Then we sum up all the expected cost, and then we can sum up the expected cost on the three different platforms. As you might recall, there's one formula we can actually use to do this is to do a VLOOKUP by looking at the cost based on the platform names we have here. But for educational purpose, here we're going to use some different formulas to achieve the same thing that the VLOOKUP could achieve. The first formula we do is if. So we're going to use if to find the cost of the platform from the tables above. If the platform name here in cell B7 is equal to the platform here on the table, this is where we find the cost, is equal to in cell A2. Because we want this to copy around, but we want to fix the formula always in cell A2. So now tap the F4 key so that it locks up the uh, A4 cell. If it equals to A4 cell, then we are going to take the value that is the unit cost here in cell B2. Again, we want B2 to be fixed when we copy the formula around. So press F4 again so that the B2 would carry the dollar sign, comma. If the platform name is not equal to A2, then we're going to check further. So we're going to use another if. So then if, parenthesis, we're going to check whether it's equal to TikTok. So again, if B7 is equal to A3, locked up using key F4, if it's equal to TikTok, then we're going to set the price using the cell B3. Again, tap F4 to lock this. And if not, if it's again not equal to TikTok, then we're going to check the third one. That's the last thing we check. If, parenthesis, this is equal to the value of A4, and then F4 lock it, and comma, then it's going to take the unit cost in cell B4, and then F4 lock it, and then comma, if it's not equal to podcast either. So which basically means it's not equal to Facebook, not equal to TikTok, not equal to podcast, then we don't know the cost value here to prevent us from getting to some weird answer. Let's just uh, tap the uh, use the shift to get a quotation mark twice. This would basically return an empty result. Now we close the parenthesis. So see, when you close the first parenthesis, it closes the parenthesis about podcast. And then close the second parenthesis. 
Now this is cl this closes the if about TikTok. Now we close the third parenthesis that closes everything. This if would return us the unit cost that we found in the table on top. So now that should be timed into the total number of exposures in cell C7. So that gives us the total expected cost on that day. So return. As you see here, it's Facebook. So it's $1 per thousand exposure. That's why the total cost is $68. And uh, let me change this to dollar. And then copy this all the way down. As you see that this goes all the way to December 31st. Remember how to copy this. So hover your mouse on top of it and double click. It's going to copy all this all the way down to where you have a number next to it. So now we have the expected cost on each day. To calculate the expected total cost, it's equals to sum and select the first one. Use hold down control shift and the down button to select the whole range. And then close the parenthesis and then press enter. So the total cost on advertising from September through December is $9,373. And how does this distribute into different platforms? So we're going to use a formula that we have talked about before equals sumif. And then we're going to calculate it using the platform names here Facebook, Control Shift Down. And then we want this to be fixed. So press F4, comma. And the criteria is basically here in the cell on top in G6, comma. In this case, the sum range and the criteria range are different. So we need to select the sum range, which is the range in column D. And again, select the first cell and the price control shift down. You will select the whole column and use F4 to lock it. And then close the parenthesis. This will calculate the total expected cost on Facebook. Return $2,312. And uh, I intentionally locked various places in this formula. So we can copy this directly to the other two cells. And then this is going to give us the values for TikTok and podcast. So if you check the formula, you're going to see that it's going to find podcast and then sum over podcast. So that's how to use if command to find the price and calculate the total advertising cost. Let me use a different command for this purpose. Now, to do this, I want to duplicate this sheet. How to duplicate this sheet? Here's what we do. Put your mouse cursor on top of the tab here and right click. Now you can see in the pop-up menu, one of the options is move or copy. Left click on that. So on this menu, you're going to see that you can either move this sheet around in this file or potentially in the, into a different file. If you change the file name, then it's going to move it into a different file. So here we are not going to move it. We want to create a copy. So we check create copy. And where do we want to be? It says before the sheet. We want this to be before the sheet Excel covered. So now it's going to create a duplicate copy of the sheet I have just created. Click OK. Now you see that it has created a sheet called Add Media 2. And uh, it's an exact duplicate of the sheet that I have just created. So we used if to find the cost. Now I'm going to demonstrate using a different formula for that purpose. I'm going to delete the cost that I found. Control Shift down, delete. So now it's all gone. Once that is gone, obviously the total cost will become zero, so they're all gone as well.
The different formula that I want to use here is called switch. So I'm going to use equals switch. And the switch sometimes can be very convenient comparing to using many ifs as we just did. So when using switch, the first one we look at is switch is going to check whether the first condition is true. The first the impression we put in is the platform names, comma. And if this value in cell B7 takes the value in cell A2, if this takes the cell in, value in cell A2, again, use F4 to lock this comma. And then the result I take would be the unit cost here in cell B2. Again, use F4, comma. So that's the first one. Alternatively, if it takes the value in cell A3, F4, comma, and then I will take the value in B3, again, use the F4 functional key to lock this, and comma, and finally A4, lock it, comma, and then it's going to take the value in cell B4, and lock it, and close the switch command. And then this is what we have, and you press enter, it will find the cost. So here, the cost we get is just the unit cost. This formula needs to be edited by timing the total number of exposure on that day. Enter. And now copy that formula all the way down to get all the expected costs. As you see here, using one switch, we can achieve the same function that we have achieved using multiple ifs. Now using this opportunity, let me also talk about how to make copies and pastes within a spreadsheet. So to do this, let me create a new sheet by clicking this little plus sign here. So now it's going to create a new sheet. I'm going to rename this by double click on the sheet name. Let's call this paste test. So if we want to copy this range of the sheet here, we're going to select everything we have. So once you select this area, you can copy this area by using the mouse right click and then choose copy. Alternatively, you can use a shortcut to make a copy. The shortcut uses the keyboard to hold down the control key and then simultaneously press the letter C. And next, go to the paste test sheet. Here we're going to talk about the outcome of different types of paste. So right click, you're going to see different paste options. The first option is the most commonly used one is just to paste everything. So if you click on that, you're going to get everything pasted, as you see here, including the formula that we have used previously. Now, sometimes we don't want the formula to be copied, so we are going to need to paste only the values, only 68, the values here, instead of copying the formula. So we're going to paste differently. Now, we already copied this. Now, let's look at a different types of paste. Right click, and the second option of the paste is to paste the value. So once you click on the second option, as you see here, everything you have is only pasted on the value, including the date format. You only have the value of the date format, so it's no longer in date. And the expected cost here has changed into a number 68 instead of the formula. So the advantage here is sometimes you only want to keep the value instead of the calculations. As you see here, when you do paste value, sometimes it does mess up your date. The way to change this is to use Control Shift and Down to select all these date values. And then if you change your format back into a short date, you're going to see that this becomes the date format again. Another type of paste is to paste formula. 
Let me go back, Control C, and come here. So right click, and then paste the formula. Again, here you're going to see that on the expected cost column, we are going to have the formulas. And there's yet another type of paste. It's right click, and uh, the fourth one is transpose. So this flips the table. So it will flip the vertical table into horizontal table. So as you see here, everything has become horizontal. Finally, if you right click, there's also a paste special. So paste special allows you to paste two different things. You can paste down values. But in the meantime, you can do some other operations with the table. In this case, for example, if I want to paste down values, in the meantime, I want to transpose the table, then I can choose two of them and then click OK. So now it will paste down a new table with only values. So you see here, there's no more formula. The expected cost are values only, and it also transposed the table at the same time. So in this video, we have discussed if, switch, and how to paste, and how to copy sheets in its entirety. That concludes this video.